what's up fam if you are new welcome to my channel my name is natalie and this is my channel music to makeup I do the ride or die you know like holy grail product tag but a 2017 almost 2018 oh my god i can't believe this year has gone by so fast but version and you know just my favorite products of each category i'm going to go through you know like primer foundation you know blush bronzer every different product and what my ride or die product my favorite product of all time is i guess let's just get started so i'm going to start i have them all written down i'm going to start with Face my ride or die face primer is going to be this Becca backlight priming filter. This is my second bottle and it's almost empty. You see that? This is just the most beautiful, illuminating primer ever. And it's like hydrating as well. Some of the illuminating primers, like I just tried the Smashbox one and it's not anywhere near as hydrating as the Becca one and it's just so beautiful there would be times where I would put this on my face and then it was just so pretty I'm like I don't even need to put any more makeup on like this is all I need oh that was way too much by the way but it gives your skin just the most beautiful glow it's gorgeous it's not going to smooth your pores or doing anything like that because it's an illuminating. It's going to give your skin like a fresh, dewy, and moisturized look. But I love that primer so much. Okay, so for foundation, where is it? It is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless finished foundation stick but this foundation is so fun it's not even funny it is so full coverage so full coverage creamy it's easy to put on because it's a stick that's one of the main reasons I do like it it's a stick it's easy to put on then just use a brush and buff it out and it gives your skin the most like airbrushed, it smooths all your pores. It looks makes your skin look air airbrushed and flawless, and it is just the best foundation there is. The price for the amount is horrible, but once you use the foundation, you're like, oh, I don't care how much it is because it's just mm, awesome. <laughs> it is truly an amazing foundation. Now we're going to go on to concealer. <laughs> and that is the Tarte Shape Tape, Shape Tape Concealer. And mine is in fair because that is exactly what I am. Fair. But this oh, found, or this concealer is no fucking joke. It's like we came here, we ain't fucking around with full coverage and mm -mm, you won't need anyone else ever again honey it's so blendable but it's so full coverage tart came and blew everyone's socks off with shape tape and if you have not tried it you are missing out. This is the only concealer you will ever need, ever, ever. Powder. So I have setting powder and finishing powder. So setting powder, it's going to be the RCMA Original No Color Powder. This is almost empty, but this is a really good amount of product, three ounces for, I think it's $12. And it kind of sucks though because they're like, oh, this we're gonna give you a good powder, a good amount for a pretty decent price. But we're gonna give you the shittiest packaging ever and make you suffer because we're giving you this great product for such a low price. <laughs> because clearly mine has no lid. My lid is up on my vanity with some 
powder poured in it because that's how I use it. I have to keep the cap open on my vanity because it is just the messiest thing to keep having to pour it into it and then pour it back in to put the lid on. You, there is no way to do it without getting powder on yourself and it is horrible but it is a very very good powder for setting your under eyes. After you've applied concealer take a damp sponge, a beauty blender or a real technique sponge, any sponge really and put some of that translucent powder on it and set your concealer with it and it gives it, it is like the dampness from the sponge blends the foundation, the concealer, and the powder together to give it such a smooth, flawless finish and not so, you know, cake face and for, it'll give you a finish that won't crease because it's too dry, it gives it some moisture and sets it at the same time. It's just so beautiful. It's the only way I set my under eyes. Okay, so now for finishing powder. Oh, this powder is everything, everything. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in number one fair. This powder, like I've hit pan, I have already ordered my second one because I cannot live without this powder. If I were to run out and not be able to use it, oh no, mm -mm, we cannot have that. This hourglass foundation already gives you kind of like that airbrushed finish, but this on top of that, oh, I can't even put into words how fabulous it is. It is just, it is the best finishing powder I have ever used. It's like an Instagram filter in a makeup product. And that's exactly what it does. It like blurs out any imperfections and just makes your skin look amazing and flawless. So I'm moving on to bronzer. All right, my ride or die holy grail bronzer is Hula Light bronzer. They came out with the Hula Light. I was like, I thought Hula was the best bronzer for fair, fairer skin tones. I'm like, how could there be a bronzer that is any better than Hula? And so I'm like, I have to try the Hula Light. And as soon as I tried it, I was like, oh, they found a way to make Hula better. And it's just a tiny bit lighter, but it makes like such a difference and I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing almost all of the products that I am talking about today in my makeup. But this is just if you are very very fair and have a problem finding bronzers that are suitable for your skin tone, I definitely suggest trying Hula. Did I show it to you or am I just talking about it? Just rambling on. So beautiful. So that is definitely my ride or die bronzer. All right, now for blush. This was hard, but I finally decided to go with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Incandescent Electra. This blush, so beautiful. It's like a baby pink, but with a touch of like coral in it. And these blushes are amazing. They're just like the perfect formula. They're creamy enough, but they're, they don't have a lot of kick up. And it, you actually get really good pigmentation on the cheeks because I swear, there are some blushes, it's like you're sitting, they're putting it on for five minutes. It's like, okay, like where is the blush? Like seriously, like you can go on my cheeks any moment now. It's just the perfect pink blush. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. My favorite is definitely the Becca and Champagne Pop. Like as you can see, I put pan. 
And I, but I also have the cheek palette, so I have some more in there. It's just a beautiful light gold with like a peachy in it. It's, it's so beautiful and it looks good on a lot of different skin tones. Now, this is definitely my favorite powder highlighter formula. I also do like the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. I have almost every single glow kit except for the Aurora one. But these I do like a little bit better than the Anastasia. But anyways, when you think you know of a highlighter, you most are likely are gonna be thinking of a powder highlighter. But I use so many different forms of highlighter, so I decided to include a liquid highlighter because I just felt the need like these just had to be included in a ride or die video for me because they are ride or die products for me. So these are the Cover Up FX, what are they called? Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in Candlelight. And then this one is Moonlight. I have to say Moonlight is probably my favorite but you can also mix these in with your foundation and they just, that's what I usually use them for. It just gives any foundation the most beautiful glow. So, mascara. It has, it's gonna have to be the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Once I used it, I knew it was the best mascara I have ever used. It gives, I love the brush, and it gives you just so much volume. It's just, I can't even describe it. But this mascara is bomb, like for real. Okay, so now I decided, okay, so we're gonna talk about eyeshadow palette. And it definitely is going to be the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just my like perfect palette because it has the beautiful like mustardy brown transition colors here, an orange, and then the reds, and then like a burgundy brown, and then a dark brown, which I love. I love this color, Cyp Cypress Umber. And then this highlight color, as you can see, I've hit pan. I used it today, and whenever I just want a warm, smoky eye, this is the palette that I automatically go to. I like to use cream eyeshadows for my lid, so that's why I'm like, I have to include a cream eyeshadow category because I feel like those are two separate different entities, you know, there's like the colors you use for the out the crease and then the colors you use for lip color so i these are another product i just kind of created a category because i felt like i needed to include them in my ride or die tag because they are ride or die products for me i use these almost every single day and they are the stila magnificent metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I have so many. I have like seven different ones. But I just, I love them. Love them. So I had to talk about them. All right, so for the next category is going to be favorite lipstick. My ride or die lipstick is going to be, this is Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips Collection. And it is in, Emily. The, I really like the Hot Lips collection because it's a beautiful bright coral. Oh, I love it. It looks amazing if you have blue eyes. Look how beautiful that is. I really like the Hot Lips collection because they all the colors in it are named after strong and entrepreneurial women, entrepreneurial. Strong, successful women. I just love this lipstick so much, so much, and I like the concept behind 
the collection. So my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick, and it is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Rose Matter. And that's what I have on my lips right now. It is just so beautiful. It's like a corally pink. Here, I'll do it next to the Emily lipstick so you can see. Like, it's not corally. It's a pink, but it has coral, like a coral tint to it. It just looks so beautiful with my eyes and my skin tone, and I just love it. I have been obsessed. Lip gloss is definitely going to have to be, I'm sorry, this is empty. I got this like not even two months ago, and it's already empty. If that tells you anything about how much I love this product. It is Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. It is just like the perfect nude lip gloss. And I just love these lip glosses in general. They have to be one of, if not my favorite formula. And I love, this was like a special edition one with the little jewel on the top. But look, I was like, that is so me. I have to have it and then I used it up so fast. I just love it. Like whenever I can't, don't even want to be bothered with thinking about what to put on, I just automatically go to that. Okay, now for setting sprays. My ride or die setting spray is going to be this Milani Make It Dewy Hydrate and Illuminate and Set 16 Hour Wear. I just love this setting spray so much. Lastly, but not least, because I love perfume. I love perfume. My ride or die perfume is going to have to be Gucci Bamboo. I just love this fragrance so much. I can never get enough of it. And especially around this time of season when you, you know, you're gonna want to be wearing perfumes that are like deeper and more seductive and kind of warmer because of the season change. I just love this perfume so much. All right, guys, well, that is, those are all of my ride or die makeup products for 2017, almost 2018. Let me know if any of the products I talked about or are some of your ride or die products as well. I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Love you. Bye.